They, Nellie's gorgeous, isn't she? Yeah. Is that um, the one you like? Yeah, it's, yeah. touch me. She's not as friendly as this one. Welcome back to the channel everybody. If you're new to our channel or if you just subscribe, my name is Kevin. And I'm Dan. And together we're Compass Rose and we appreciate you coming back and watching our videos. And in this video we're going to share with you one of our favorite Harvest Host experiences that we have. This is the first time we used a Harvest Host at a farm. It was the Shady Brook Farm Alpacas in Lancaster, Virginia hosted by Mike and Glow Angle. So in this video, you're actually gonna see uh, a lot of their alpacas. We're gonna have some film in there, but you're actually gonna see us interact with those alpacas as well a little bit. And we get to learn a little bit, and you may even see one spit. So I hope you enjoy this video. She does this so that you'll pet her. Oh. She wants you to pet her. See, I, Any I particular like place? She she lays down. She's our she's our PR girl. She's impatient. She's the, been waiting. The kids, she's been <laughs> waiting for you all morning. She's ready today. Yes. Um, she it's loves like everybody. And she just loves to be petted. The kids love Isn't that nice and soft? Oh yeah. Soft Does she like her head petted? No. Or no. They no? Are shy okay. About their head. They love to be petters, or she does, anyway. <laughs> you know, they're a camel. It's a camel. Oh. Family. They're from the camel family. Okay. And, that's um, why they lay like that. That's how a camel lays. That's how a camel, you know, they lays. Push. And uh, they can get too back if they want. Yeah. <laughs> they can. In, <laughs> fact, they like in fact, a lot of people haul them like this in their minivans. They just put them in the back, and they just push like this, and away we go. And this one's name is? This Quinn. is Quinn. 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 Well, Quinn, I don't think that you are um, RV ready, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, she is. Yeah. She? <laughs> Might be hard to potty train. They go in one spot. Are you got girl? big eyelashes. Oh, yeah, big eyes and long eyelashes. One of their endearing traits. So they're from the Andes Mountains, you know, Peru, South America. Yeah. Uh, they were developed for their fleece, um, for garments. I'm not going to touch your head, though. And of course, they're the small version of the llama. You know, the llama's 450 pounds. These guys are average about 130, 125, 150. So when you, um, I don't want to share them, whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, how long does their coat get? We'll show you. We have bags of fleece up here, and we'll show you what it looks like when it comes off of them. But generally, anywhere between four and six inches. Uh, we shear them every April, once a year. And, so they were just uh, sheared a month ago. Though. They were sheared so one month ago, right almost now. exactly a month ago. So this is Missy, and you can, uh, I just like for people to feel how soft she is. That's why we she, turn this around. The way it's sheared <laughs> even looks like a, a sweater. It is. <laughs> just, With it, the rose. This is incredible fleece. And, um, and they're hypoallergenic, right? Yeah. They are. Uh, there's no lanolin in this like there is on sheep, on wool. Uh, so it's it's so much more environmentally friendly to uh, process this because we don't have to use all that, uh, all those detergents and, and, the harsh chemicals. and the chemicals that are necessary to clean it. It comes off the animal and that's how they process it. You don't really have to do anything except clean the debris out of it. Well, they, yeah, when it goes to the mill, they wash okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. She's, she's, she's what happened? Funny. What happened? I just like their bowl haircuts, too. Uh -huh. Yeah, they don't like their heads, but uh, you can see this This is amazing. How, it, if I can get it in the sun. We have a hard time brushing Ava. I can imagine trying to... Well, you don't we don't ever brush them. You don't, you don't touch oh, them. Really? Oh, wow. It's not necessary. Uh, we show these animals. They go to the shows, and they want you just to bring them in just the way they are. Yeah. In fact, if you um, did brush them, you'd be disqualified. She's usually the more inquisitive. I think she was the one that was following you yesterday she's as well. My cat. She's my yeah. she's, she's, she's always been She's spoiled like, rotten. Yeah, that's why she's fussing like that. But she rarely do they come out as tame as this one, but she started right out. Yeah, she's been, she's been she has been a real tame little thing, and, she, uh, but, and she's probably the best animal... Well, and Nellie too, the one you like there. She's, these are probably two of the best 
uh, successes we've had in our breeding program. Uh, we started out with two and, and we've been very selective about about buying new girls, generally females. We only have bought, uh, our only male we ever bought really was Siggy. was Siggy, the boy that's up here now. We bought him for uh, breeding purposes. <laughs> she gets real, uh, she, and she'll lay down again and say, come on, you got a pet. I don't. <laughs> So what we did, uh, we also boarded alpacas. So that's how we ended up with 30. We were boarding for other farms. They uh, pay us to take care of their. We're also breeding uh, for the characteristics of the fleece. There, there are many things involved in uh, what the mill wants to, uh, to the, the type of fleece the mill's looking for in order to produce this phenomenal product. And it's uh, fineness. Um, Crimp, and I'll show you what crimp is. It's kind of a looks like a French fry. Okay. You know, and uh, staple length is is also important. So all those characteristics come into play. The key and the trick to this, and what's always been uh, interesting to me, and extremely a lot more difficult than I imagined, is the husbandry end of this, and and comparing her genetics with the genetics of a male and deciding if that male is going to improve her crea, her baby, mm -hmm. the fleece of that baby. So we're always trying to improve that. Uh, we want to breed to a male that's going to not, we're not breeding down, we're breeding up. Mm -hmm. And that's very challenging, and I, I really enjoy that end of it. People have different programs too. There, there are some people that just have fleece programs. They're not interested in breeding seed stock. Mm. They're interested in the, in, in the fiber end of the business. So they'll have numerous animals, but they'll have really great fleas. And so they're looking for as much fleece as they can get off that herd in order to produce uh, the, the, gold, yeah. the, the garments that they want. Uh, and, you know, they, they're, they're looking at a specific end of the, of the business. Every 30 days they get weighed and, and we do what we call herd health. We check them, make sure they're, they're doing okay. Uh, we fecal these animals every eight weeks uh, to look for parasites and we treat for parasites. Mm -hmm. Parasites have a great effect on an animal's health and the fleas. Siggy is our herd sire. He, he's looking pretty bad since we sheared him. Everything's he actually doesn't look too bad. But he has some really, really nice genetics. And, uh, and he has beautiful fleas. We really like Siggy a lot as far as a animal we wanted to breed some of our girls to. Uh, and like I said, I just bred two of the girls last week to him. And uh, probably all the breeding I'm gonna do here. Um, and of course, there's Contender. <laughs> hey, buddy. Well, this time of year doesn't look too bad because he's, everything on him is short, but when he's got full fleas, he doesn't have any on his legs. So yeah. you notice know, this guy's got fleece on his legs. All the way That's down to his what toes. You want. He's, he looks so funny. And when, when, he, full when he's full fleece, you know, he's really full fleece. I mean, he's a big puffball. <laughs> That's him. <laughs> you got a treat, Mike? Oops. Easy now. So he just fits just to be contrary. He's just, a, he's just <laughs> an honorary guy now. He'll come over and give you kisses. And he's fine as, as long as you he'll don't know when he's going to spit. Do like I did. And then he'll he gets, send a warning shot. And he'll, with his hair. <laughs> he'll bite your toes. A warning. You know, he, he wants. He, he's just got. He's great. I like him a lot. You're my buddy. See, these are not yeah, a great me. blanket either. The the rough spots is what I call them, but they're actually brown spots. Is that the warning shot? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not touching him again. <laughs> yeah, we don't have a real good relationship. No, he likes me. He likes men better than me. This is what we call first, and this is what I was talking about, about the characteristics. First of all, the fineness, which, you know, see how fine that is? Yeah. It's just like spider web, you know? It has the crinkles like a the French fry. crimp is really um, important. Well, it's, I don't want to say important, but, it, but it's, it's something that we try to produce uh, along with the staple length. And it's hard to see the staple length here because the shears sometimes don't get it. 
you know, so you may look at one clipping here and down and here. There's, no, there's, but you know what? It's it even longer. Is a memory. But do you share them yourself, or do no, you have someone? No, we have a shear that comes from uh, New Zealand. Once a year, he comes here and he travels all over the United States and follows the, the season. So we had a standing date with him for April 15th every year. And he would come here and shear our animals and all the animals in this area. <laughs> it takes about five minutes to shear an animal, not very long. Um, that's fast. A year to grow it, five minutes to take it all off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, that's the truth. Yeah. So thank you for watching this video. And again, we want to thank Mike and Glow Angle for being such wonderful hosts at this alpaca farm. So if you're considering a unique harvest host experience, please check out this farm. The details will be in the description below. And also, if you're not a Harvest Host member, the details on how to become a member of Harvest Host will also be in the description below. So one unexpected surprise that we did get when we first arrived was the fact that there is a secluded beach that Mike will give you the details, or maybe Glow will give you the details on. Uh, and we actually took our camping chairs out there with a cocktail and watched the sunset. And Ava really loves swimming in the water. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. It really helps us with the YouTube algorithm. So until our next video, where will the road take you? Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights